One of the largest yet most endangered species of crocodilian alive today is known as the Temistema. Due to destruction of habitat mainly tied to palm oil plantations, the Temistema is now considered endangered. Being found in only certain areas within Southeast Asia, along with their generally shy nature, the Temistema is a species we still know little about. One of the facts we are still trying to understand is how big they can get. The Temistema does get to large sizes, but can they get to that magical 20 foot mark? To answer that question, we are going to look at some of the largest Temistema ever claimed to be estimated, measured, or caught. To start off, we need to begin with this record-breaking skull. This giant Temistema skull is 84 centimeters long, or 33 inches in length, making it the longest head length for any known species of living crocodilian. The skull was collected in the 19th century and is from Borneo. However, there isn't much information besides this tied to the animal the skull is from. The skull is currently in the British Natural History Museum, and experts for a while have tried to figure out just how long this Temistema was. The earliest estimate I could find tied to the skull is from some notes written by the late crocodile hunter George Craig, when he measured the skull and other specimens with Colin McCarthy, the curator of the museum at the time. Craig put down a length of 23 feet for this Temistema. However, it is unknown if this length was Craig's own estimation or the estimation from those at the museum. Given this length and adjusting for skull shrinkage croc skulls experience over time, this would mean the head length to total body length ratio would be about 1 to 8. However, is this ratio plausible for this animal? As far as I know, there is not a ton of morphometric data concerning large Temistema, but there is some. In the paper Who's Got the Biggest, which focuses on large croc skulls, the 15-foot Temistema was measured at a crocodile farm in Bangkok. Its head length was about 29 inches long, making its ratio about 1 to 6.4. Using this as a reference, that would make the skull owner of this record breaker somewhere around 18 feet making it a large animal, but not hitting the 23 foot mark. However, it's possible that some large Temistema could have a ratio of about 1 to 7. At a zoo in China, a large Temistema was measured while it rested along the glass of its enclosure in the underwater viewing section. The following measurements were taken, but it should be noted they shouldn't be deemed definitive as the glass and water can make the animal appear bigger, but the proportions of the animal shouldn't be too far off. If we apply a ratio of 1 to 7 to the record-breaking skull, that would mean this animal could have been a 20-footer. Still, given the limited concrete information we have on the species, I think 18 feet should be looked at as the conservative number right now. So if an 18-20 to 20 foot body length is possible in the past for the species, could they still get that big today? Well, let's first look at some captive specimens. The first one to mention is an individual named Kraken, who originally lived in a zoo in the Czech Republic, but now seems to have been moved to a zoo in Poland. Kraken is claimed to be just under 17 feet in length and in 2021 weighed over a thousand pounds, being the largest of his species to be kept in Europe. The photos I have seen of Kraken to determine a ratio for him aren't the greatest, but it's safe to say it's between 1 to 6 and 1 to 7. The next specimen is one with an immense weight. A 14 footer at a zoo in Brazil was weighed in at over 1500 pounds, making it one of the heaviest and largest of its species. These measurements come from the European stud book for the Temistema, but the same report stated the animal died shortly after being released with reasons tied to the animal's obesity. One keeper claimed this Temistema was actually 18 feet long and over 1,200 pounds, but I believe these to be inaccurate as they don't align with the official report. The final captive specimen before we get to the wild individuals actually appears to be a new length record and a weight record for the species. A Temistema named Kulong or Cool Dragon at the Taipei Zoo was recently moved into a new enclosure, and some measurements were taken during the process. Kulong was measured at a length of about 18 feet in a weight approaching 1,600 pounds. This massive animal, if the measurements were accurate, appears to be a new confirmed record size for the species, showing they can get to those big historical lengths if given the right conditions and genetics. But all of those individuals were captive animals. What about the ones left in the wild? Well, this is where things get a little interesting. As some of you know, I have been studying reports of crocodilians getting to or exceeding 20 feet from the historical perspective for many years. Generally, the species I've been studying have a large number of reported giants going as far back as at least the 19th century up to today. However, that's not the case with the Temistema. In fact, the vast majority of the claims seem to be from the 21st century. Other than the large skull, I haven't found one concrete historical report prior to the 21st century of a Temistema claimed to be at least 20 feet long. The only two other reports were referenced in this book, but I haven't found those giants in the primary sources the book refers to, so these could be mistakes on the part of the authors. So what about the claimed 20-footers of today? 
Well, they all come from newspapers or videos on YouTube, and while telling their exact size is hard, I do believe they are true giants above the typical 14 feet most males in the species get to. Here are some of the more interesting reports to me. The first is a video of a Temistema being released somewhere in Indonesia after it was caught in 2014. The second is a photo of a claimed 26-footer found dead after it was suspected to have gotten into a fight with another Temistema in 2016. The third is of a claimed 16-20-footer to 20 footer that was shot dead in 2019. I want to first start with this one because I found a way to figure out the general length of the animal. Based on the photograph here, this man's leg is in the same visual plane as the Temistema. It seems the average knee height of an adult male is roughly 20 inches. Using this, we can determine the snout pelvis length of the animal and then determine its true total length. Just to note as well, I tried this method with this image of Lolong, whose straight line measurement we know, and my estimate was literally off by only 2 inches. Based on this methodology, the snout pelvis length is around 102 inches long. I've seen slightly different ratios for this type of measurement to find its mistimus true total length, but it would be safe to say the animal is between 15 to 17 feet long, assuming the SPL is indeed 102 inches long. I have seen another source online say this animal was actually an 11 footer, but I would find that really shocking if true. For the claimed 26 footer, I find it highly unlikely it's that big. Based on known ratios, the head would need to be roughly 4 feet in length, and that head is definitely not that big, although it is of a respectable size. For this animal being released, I do believe it's at least 16 feet and quite possibly 18 feet, but it's really hard to say how big it is. So do I think that a length of 20 feet is possible for the species? Honestly, yes I do. The several large skulls of Temistema that exist made Rom and Nick Whitaker in their paper believe they could get to this size, and Rom even told me that he thought maybe the Temistema is the species we need to look at for the record size crocodilians of today. For my own research, I do think they could get that big, but for another reason. Before I give my reason, I just want to say I am still in the process of the study I am working on about giant crocs. And what I'll say is not based on quantifiable data at this point, just based on my time looking over hundreds of historical reports. Based on my research, I do believe that for some species where we have a good amount of historical reporting, I believe that the modern day maximum lengths of some species only represent 80% of their historical maximum lengths. The reason I am saying this is because I have noticed that over time, at least from the 19th century to today, the general sizes of large crocodilians reported has gradually decreased over time. Now the reasons for this can vary from habitat destruction and hunting of large crocs to just a simple increase in reporting less exaggerated news. I'm still looking into those details. But anyway, if we were to apply that 80% figure to the Temistema, with modern day individuals seeming to get 17-18 to 18 feet for confirmed maximum lengths, that would mean historically Temistema could max out at over 20 feet in length. No matter the exact size of how big they can or could have gotten, it is undeniable that the Temistema is one of the largest crocodilians alive today. It is a shame that such a magnificent species is generally unknown to the public and is unfortunately endangered. However, if you would like to help the species continue on for generations, you can simply help by visiting zoos that have Temistema. Or you can donate to causes such as the IUCN Crocodile Specialist Group or the Temistema Task Force. Let's make sure that the species survives for the next several generations to appreciate, and who knows, maybe we'll finally see a 20-footer if we keep the species going. To learn more about the animals you just saw, buy the second edition of What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians. It examines claims of giant crocodiles, a World War II massacre, regenerating tails, alligators in the sewers, their record land speeds, and more. The book examines claims many, including experts, get wrong about these animals, and the second edition includes updated information, pictures, and more. Buy What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians, the second edition, in physical or digital formats. Link in bio, comments, or description to buy.